today is an exciting day because I made it back into the boat and I was able to see all of Herbie's beautiful work that he's been doing while my ankle's been recuperating. And I just wanted to update you all on what actually happened. <laughs> today is Monday and last Tuesday I was in a church with some friends. It was a museum church and I was looking at all of the beautiful things, especially the big tall columns were just absolutely gorgeous and I was staring up at them in awe and I took a step and it turned out that the floor went down there and so I fell down on my left foot. I heard this big pop and of course I hadn't eaten anything yet that day so I immediately fainted. <laughs> I guess all the blood rushed down to my ankle and I had very low blood sugar at the time when the guy took my blood sugar it was 36 which is alarming luckily I was with a bunch of friends and they took care of me an ambulance came it was a little much uh, but it, it was it was a thing it was, the pain was excruciating after x-rays and waiting and all that, we found out that, thank goodness, it was just a sprain. And they gave me this beautiful ankle brace here. It comes along with this elastic strip, which I've become quite adept at doing. And I was given two weeks with crutches, um, so I guess a two week recovery period and uh, the pain is substantially less, but it is it still exists. So I'm just keeping it up. I was able to pull myself up on the ladder. I'm sure it looked anything but graceful. <laughs> but um, thankful to be back here in the boat because actually we had wonderful friends here in Scott and Grasa, and they offered their couch to me, and that's where I've been for the past week. I've been on their couch, eating their food. They've been really, really wonderful to me. Treated me like their own daughter. <laughs> so I'm so grateful to them. I just felt it was time to try to get back into the boat today and get out of their hair and not feel like I was taking too much advantage of them. I'm very prone to injury. I'm not sure if I just have really bad luck or my body's just <laughs> very fragile but I have experienced a lot of hospitals in a lot of countries and I will say that um, the one here on Teixeira was very nice, it was very swift. The only complaint I could possibly have was that the, um, the people who picked me up in the ambulance <laughs> were uh, not very careful. <laughs> I was like yelling in pain and it turned out that one of them was actually leaning on my foot <laughs> and uh, one of them banged it into a door while we were going while I was like lying on the stretcher and we were going through a door so that that's really my only complaint the doctor was very kind he spoke a little bit of English thank goodness I, the x-rays happened in a timely manner and um, it was all very clean and nice so all in all, uh, a good, a good positive experience in the hospital, hospital here on Tercera, but I never want to see it again. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for your kind comments on Facebook, and I want to let you know that the recovery is happening, and I really do feel that by the end of this week, I will be raring to go. Well, I take my crutches off in two days. My ankle is doing a lot better, but it's still not great. Um, I just have to say, of all places to injure yourself, this is not a great place. Uh, particularly in our situation, where we do not have a car and we live on a boat that's on stilts. <laughs> so I have to climb a ladder, up and down a ladder every time we go out. And uh, today, I actually walked the furthest I've ever walked with my crutches. I think it was about a little less than a mile, and it was just incredibly exhausting. Tercera is not set up for any kind of um, physical disability in any way. <laughs> um, it's, it's 
extraordinarily hilly. There are no ramps uh, in places like, for instance, uh, places that you would need to go on a regular basis if you're someone like us, such as the consulate's office. Um, you have to walk up a big old flight of stairs to get up there. There's no elevator or anything. So, and the restaurant we just went to, up a flight of stairs. Everything has stairs. And there isn't, it's not like the U.S. where there's like a whole lot of thought put into people who can't do stairs. We did have to take a taxi home, um, and it was only five euros, but it's still a little bit, it's just, it's really hard to get around here, and it's been frustrating because, who talk about cabin fever, being stuck in this small little cabin. I'm really excited for this to be over. <laughs> Um, it's been interesting trying to make my way around here like this and noticing things that you just don't notice unless you are stuck on crutches. You, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have noticed the fact that it's just not handicap friendly here, but it's really, it's, it's a problem. Now, of course, where there are cons, there are also pros, uh, like the prices of things. Um, any medication here is super, super cheap and attainable. And the uh, crutches that I got were 50 euros, including the brace. So that was is would be unheard of in the States. <laughs> so that's a good thing. It's also nice that taxis are super cheap. <laughs> so I'm able to get around by taxi if I really need to. We haven't gotten the hospital bill yet, so we don't know what that is going to be. But our friend Pat here, uh, she recently broke her arm in a really bad way and had to get surgery and everything. And with the surgery and the hospital visits and everything combined, it came out to be $1,400. So that tells you something right there about the costs. So yeah, it's not a very handicap friendly place, but everything costs, everything is affordable. <laughs> so you win some, you lose some, and um, I'm just ready to be mobile again. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.